Good evening and welcome to TL Physics and today I am going to talk about wave particle duality or introduce it. Now the most important part of wave particle duality is understanding classically what we define as a wave and the properties that define a particle. So a wave is a phenomena that transfers energy without transferring mass. So the whole idea of me speaking to you or speaking to the speaker right now, is that I speak, the particles between me and the speaker, or me and yourself, um, are there, and after the wave is transferred, the particles go back to their original position. The energy has been transferred in the form of sound. This energy transfer, of course, takes time. There is a slight delay between me and you, and there's also a slight delay between, for example, the sun, the light from the sun getting to us. So transfer by, energy transfer by wave does take time. Also, waves experience interference and diffraction. So waves, when they go through a gap, will spread out and they will interfere with each other constructively or destructively. Particles, on the other hand, transfer energy by transferring mass. I am going to transfer... Um, some kinetic energy or GPE into kinetic. The mass has moved. Okay, energy has been transferred from one form to another. This transfer is instantaneous. The transfer from kinetic to GPE instantaneously happens all the way down. However, particles do not interfere with each other as with constructive and destructive interference and they don't diffract. Now this is a key point, that waves have this whole idea that they don't transfer mass, that the transfer does take time, and they do interfere and diffract, and particles don't. This is where wave-particle duality comes in, because these are very classical, traditional ways of physics, and apply to most of the situations. But when we look at the quantum level, it slightly changes. In my next few videos, I will be talking about two very special cases where a wave acts like a particle and a particle acts like a wave.